Uh, we've got uh, Coach Cliff Kingsbury with us. You uh, were born and grew up in New Braunfels, and your dad was a football coach. And uh, my mom was a teacher there, so I couldn't get, get away with anything at New <laughs> Braunfels High School. Was there, was there any problems having your dad as a coach? Not really. He was just always a little bit harder on us. You know, he'd make sure. You and your brother? Me and my brother. You, you had a brother that was? One older brother, two years older than me. What did he play? He played defensive line and offensive line. Defensive line, he liked to hit. Yeah, he's big, big, tough, <laughs> big, tough guy. He liked that. I, I didn't like it too much. I, I had it rough growing up with him. Um, <laughs> but it makes you tough. You were a good student. That didn't happen just when you got to Texas Tech. It did not, yeah, and having both my parents as educators w was big. They always taught me to be competitive in everything I did, and so, um, you know, there was a level of success in the classroom that was acceptable, and then that was it, and so I was, I was held to that at an early age, and, and that stuck with me throughout, you know, my academic career. So when did you first hear from Tech? Um, late, late in the game, literally like a week before signing Coach Dax was the coach. He was, the, and I loved it, loved him, loved their staff, and... Uh, but didn't hear anything until late, a week before signing day, heard from Coach Dykes, and he came down. And they, did, they didn't call you or anything until a week before the signing yeah, day? Yeah, not, not much at all. You know, I knew him from summer camp, but that was it. So. And, and so they called you, and did they offer you the signing day, or was it afterwards? No, it was before, but right before Spike Dykes came down, I guess somebody had dropped a scholarship, and they had one open, and they offered it to me right before. And, and you started against OU. OU, yes, sir. Last game of the year, and uh, it was our head coach, was Spike Dykes. Everybody knew it was gonna be his last game, um, so like there wasn't enough pressure already. It was like we had to win for Coach Dykes to send him out, and it was my first start ever, so I didn't sleep much that week. But um, it, was, it was, you know, Bob Stoops had just got to OU. They were up and coming and had a good team. We're I think about 20 point underdogs and. Everybody got fired up for Coach Dykes and came out there and found a way to win. And it's still my favorite win I've ever been a part of just because he meant so much to Texas Tech and to me personally. And <laughs> they carried him off the field in his last game, and it's something I'll never forget. Coach Leach came in my sophomore year and um, did a good job. You know, we ran a spread offense, which the Big 12 hadn't seen, and so we were throwing it all over a little ahead of our time. Now everybody runs that offense, but back then it was really just us. And Your senior year, who was on that team with you? I, I know Welker was. And, and he caught a couple of touchdown passes. Yeah, Wes, for those of you who've seen him play, he, he was as good as he's in NFL, he was twice as good in college, just a tremendous player. And he's a huge Red Raider. He texts me all the time talking about recruits and players. And so he's very excited about, about Texas Tech. Well, you had a good career there. And then when it came to pros, you did not get drafted. I did. You did. I did. What round? Sixth round of the Patriots. Okay. Well, I apologize. That, that's one of the... Yeah. Can't believe I didn't know that. If you're a quarterback, you get drafted to the Patriots. You're just you're kind of watching. You're not playing too much. <laughs> they got a pretty good player there. So, but it was fun to, to learn from him and, and watch his work ethic and what he was. Tom about. Brady. Tom Brady. Yes, he's. I wish I could say something bad about him because I swear to God he made a deal with the devil with his life. But he's just the best guy, hardest worker you've ever seen in your life. He's so. a good guy. Good he's guy the, to be he's around. He's the best guy. Knows everybody's name in the facility, shakes everybody's hand, treats everybody with respect, and I guess that's why God gave him Giselle for that. <laughs> that works. How, how it works well, out. Then, now that you brought it up, is she pretty in person? She's stunning. Yeah, she's tall and beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. That, that'd be the word. Stunning. Yeah, stunning. Okay. Now, did y'all go to the Super Bowl your first year? We did. In you got a ring. I did. What was it like the week of the Super Bowl? It was actually in Houston, so it was incredible. I mean, it was parties and, you know, and I wasn't playing, so I could partake a little bit. And, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a fun week. I was a third-string quarterback, but the way I was calling my agent trying to get into parties, you would have thought I was Tom Brady. I was, <laughs> I was working it to try and get into them. So Let it, me in there. Yes, find a way. At what point in time did you think, I'm not going to make being a pro football player for a career? Yeah, I was. that's always – that was my whole dream growing up was to be an NFL quarterback. And so I kept chasing it, kept chasing. I got up to Canada and dealt with that cold for a year. And I just was like, all right, that, that's enough. And, uh, you know, wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I was thinking about going back to get my MBA in business. And um, luckily I had a coach coaching at the University of Houston that asked me to come help him and fell in love with the coaching aspect, the teaching aspect, being around the players. And so it just went from there. 
when the job opened up at A&M, did he immediately ask you to go with him or did he? He did. And this is how this worked out because obviously I went to Tech, so my feelings towards A&M were about what yours are, I'm sure. <laughs> and so the whole time he'd been kind of talks with UCLA, so I'm like, this is awesome. We're going out to LA. It's going to be unbelievable. So you'd that's be, what I'm you'd, thinking. You'd be an offensive coordinator at UCLA, at UCLA and single. Living it, yes, that's not bad. <laughs> So I'm thinking life's good. And then it comes down to it. He comes in and is like, hey, man, I took the job at A&M. So I, uh, you went, Whoa. That, was, that was a tough, tough day. But, um, <laughs> but it worked out. It worked out. Enjoyed my time there. The, the fans are great. They're phenomenal. There are a lot of good Aggies. That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> what they say. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I got a call from uh, Kirby Hocutt at 1030. And uh, he said, uh, Tuberville's going to Cincinnati. And I said, Cincinnati? Yeah, I mean, that step down, in my opinion, to go back. I, I agree. Does anybody I disagree think, with I think that? I agree. You know? So the search began. And when did you find out that the tech job was open? Who told you? Yeah, just a bunch of buddies. My, my phone started blowing up. And so to set the scene, you know, I'd lived – an entire year in College Station, so I finally get to come to New York, have a whole weekend planned out. I'm excited about my trip. Then that happens, and my phone starts blowing up, so I'm trapped in a hotel room trying to get this job, essentially. But it all worked out. I just missed out on a good New York weekend. How's it been, being back at Tech? It's been unbelievable. Um, just to share my experiences with our current team and players and, and how much this university meant to me and gave to me. I had one scholarship offer, and it was Texas Tech, and. Uh, I mean, I couldn't love this place more. As you travel uh, throughout the state, do you, in airports and everything, you run into many tech people? Or? A ton of tech people, and they're, they're fired up right now, I think, with everything we have going on with your billion-dollar campaign, all you've done outside of athletics, and then, you know, Coach Smith. I mean, that basketball game the other night was incredible for those who went, that energy, and that's what we want all the time. I mean, that's what Texas Tech's about, is y'all's passion, y'all's energy, the student body is unlike any other. We're not caught up in walking on the grass or anything like that. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's we're, gonna come, we're gonna come and get rowdy and have fun and do it our way, and, and that's the beauty of Texas Tech, and that's what I love about this place. We appreciate you very much. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. That's it. Y'all want, want us to keep going? <laughs>